Could Elon Musk become a real-life Zephram Cochrane, the fictitious Star Trek inventor of warp drive? Neil deGrasse Tyson, astronomer and scientific figure, appears to believe so. Tyson sent Musk a short message on Twitter asking when the entrepreneur will stop tinkering with Mars rockets, hyperloops and Cybertrucks, and brain-computer interfaces and instead focus his efforts on inventing a warp drive like the one shown in Star Trek to propel spacecraft across galaxies. Well, Musk isn't about to transform SpaceX and Tesla into side projects, so he responded to Tyson on Twitter with a solid justification for sticking to his core jobs. If we build a city on Mars, Earth-Mars transit will be a tremendous forcing function for creating something like warp drive. So what exactly is a warp drive? And how quickly can this technology assist Musk in getting humans to Mars? Hello and welcome back to SpaceXNet. Do you think that Elon can take on the challenge of building a warp drive? How soon do you think it can be? In today's video, we look at Elon Musk's reveal concerning the new warp drive starship. But first, before we go on with today's video, a sub to the channel would be very much appreciated. Comment, share the video, and don't forget to leave a thumbs up for the video. And without further ado, let's get into it. In recent months, Elon Musk has pushed SpaceX to expedite the Starship's construction to address a problem with the Raptor rocket engine that drives the spaceship. He actually requested his engineers to give up their Thanksgiving holiday. Some SpaceX employees and non-SpaceX employees may find it a huge problem, but working over the weekend does not worry Musk, who has previously slept on the production floor of his businesses. Because of this, Musk wants the spacecraft completed as quickly as possible. This is due to the fact that NASA will have to wait until 2033 before sending a person to Mars. Musk, on the other hand, intends to do this by 2026, which is just five years away. Even if you ignore Musk's plan, stating that he is, as usual, overconfident, nonetheless, the billionaire CEO has a worst-case scenario of getting humans on Mars by 2031, which is still two years sooner than NASA's best plan. On top of all this, Musk believes that humans have a window of opportunity to become interplanetary for the first time in human history. He is in a hurry since he doesn't know how long we'll have to take advantage of his opportunity. There are a number of factors to take into action while attempting to relocate at least 1 million people from Earth to Mars as Elon Musk intends to do in a very short period of time. Cost is the first consideration. With that in mind, it's important to keep in mind that even if you have a trillion bucks sitting around right now, you can't travel to Mars. SpaceX's spaceship is an example of the kind of technology you'll need if you want to go to space. But you should be aware that it will cost a lot of money. It's not just rocket launches that are pricey. One-time used rockets are responsible for this characteristic. It's like buying a new automobile every time you want to leave the house, as Musk has pointed out. It's pricey, but it's also complex because you'll need a completely new vehicle to go out. If driving a car is the only method to move about, most people won't be able to afford it, which is what you get with Spaceflight today, which only allows the ultra-rich to participate in such activities. Obviously, this will appeal to Musk, who argues that going to Mars has a certain cost per ton that will ensure the city farm there can support itself. In addition, there may not be enough wealthy people ready to migrate to Mars to make the project a success. As a result, the price will have to drop. The only corporation capable of lowering the cost of space exploration is SpaceX. The Falcon 9, the company's existing reusable rocket, can only be used in part. The rocket returns and lands, but the upper stage is deemed unusable, resulting in an additional $10 million in launch cost each time. Including overhead charges, this takes the total cost of launching the spacecraft to between $15 million and $20 million. It's possible to cut costs by 100 times by using a reusable spaceship, such as a Starship by Elon Musk. This means that you might have launched for about $2 million. You can figure out the cost of war by multiplying it by the number of people a spaceship can transport, which ranges from 70 to 100. But it is evident that the cost of Mars will be higher. The cost of traveling to Mars is not prohibitive. Musk even claims that if you want to go to Mars, you can fund your dream by selling your property. Even if you get the best deal, there's another aspect to consider while traveling to Mars. Time. In addition to the hefty price tag, 
deep space drones have the additional challenge of distance. To travel to Mars, you'll need to set aside at least five months of your life. Depending on when you depart, your trip might last up to a year. Suppose you were to spend five months in orbit. You'll be exhausted both physically and mentally as a result of your travel. You lose bone density, and the bones in your pelvis take the most damage when you spend five months in microgravity. Some of your bones may not be able to repair if you acquire kidney stones. However, your muscle mass and strength decrease, making you weaker as a result. Radiation is plentiful in deep space, must also be dealt with. You'll have additional health issues if the spaceship isn't properly insulated. If there's a chance you'll become infertile and hence unable to contribute to the future Martian population's genetic pool. In addition, you wouldn't want anything to go wrong while you're alone in space. The longer you are there, the higher the likelihood that something will go wrong. As little time as possible spent in space would be the ideal take. Well, what would it be like to be confined on a spaceship with more than 90 strangers? Fights can break out and tempers can flare. In fact, Musk is aware of this and intends to reduce the trip to Mars to only one month or less. And it's at this point that a strong and swift spaceship comes into play. In spite of its potential to carry more than 100 tons of cargo into orbit at a time, the most powerful rocket ever built will be outperformed by a vehicle even quicker than this one. Warp travel is one of the promises. If you're a fan of Star Trek, like Musk, you've probably seen this technology in action. Musk has been related to warp drive technology for some time. He commented that a metropolis on Mars and regular interplanetary travel will be the driving factor behind the development of warp drive. Musk has maintained his statements demanding compensation will promote the development of warp drive technology in interviews. Now, how does the warp drive function? The goal is to reduce the distance between your current location and the target star or planet. Is accomplished by enclosing the spaceship in a bubble of flat space-time and then bending space-time around that bubble to minimize distance. It sounds hard, doesn't it? Well, wait for the remaining part of the story. Negative energy on negative mass is required to compress or warp space-time. Researchers have never seen negative mass, leaving only negative energy or warp drive, which would employ mass to generate an imbalance between particles and antiparticles as the sole alternative. Because of these inconsistencies, the bubble of space and time is formed. To build a 100-meter bubble of negative energy, you need a mass of the entire universe, which is not just visible. But every problem has a solution, and since Eric Lenses has come up with a workaround hypothesis, we can now say that the necessity for negative energy can be solved. He demonstrated the power of positive energy to build a warp drive bubble. It goes ahead to state that if you use hyperbolic space-time instead of linear time, you'll benefit which can illustrate that when using a warp drive, negative energy would not be required. So how fast a warp drive starship travel through space? In a matter of seconds, it may travel at a speed that is faster than at which light travels. To get a better sense of just how ridiculously quick this is, let me illustrate. Using current rocket technology, closest star to Earth is between 17,000 to 76,000 years distant. But if we use a warp drive, the distance can be shrieked to less than four years. A warp drive spacecraft will alleviate many of Musk's concerns when it comes to pushing his Mars colonization scheme, which makes it a very probable option. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching. Did you like the video? What do you think of this technology? Do you think it's attainable? Comment below. Let's engage. Also, if you're interested in more videos like this, make sure you like this video, share and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell for more amazing videos. Goodbye and see you in the next video.